welcome to my channel, Ortiz Apple Tree here at YouTube. Asking Spirit to show you what you need to see. I have been premeditating on your cards prior to going on camera, so they are charged and ready for your energy. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and Mars, North, South, East, and West, Madden, Woman, Aries. The Cardinal Fire Sign, we start off with Two of Wands. This is Choices. Then we have Five of Wands. And I like to do math in my reading. So together we got seven of wands there. Then we have the page of cups, messages that will affect you emotionally. Could be an apology even. Ten of wands, burdens, obligations, responsibilities, duties. A lot to do and people fighting for your attention and options, but still not wanting to take a risk here with the full in reverse. And I'm glad you're not losing sleep over this anymore, but you're like getting more sleep at night. You're like getting over it. Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords in reverse, which is nice to see. Getting more rest, you know what I mean? Not losing sleep, worried about this anymore. We have here Aries Jezebel. So some of you were dealing with someone that was for the streets or dealing with someone that was very manipulative, that was very selfish. I think it's two cards that we have here, right? Let me see. Jezebel is paired with the energy of the DNA in reverse pregnancy fake news. So some of you, this could be, if you're a masculine Air, uh, Aries, this could be a woman that said that you're the father to her child or that she's pregnant and it's just fake news. It's just to get your attention. It's just to get you to turn around and give her a chance, you know, but it's fake news. She's not really pregnant or the child is not yours. So if you were to get a DNA test, it would come out as this babe, you are not the father of this child. Or, you know, if you're uh, a female Aries, you might not be sure if you're pregnant or not. You know, maybe you've missed some days in your period and some of you are taking pregnancy tests and you're relieved to see that you are not pregnant. So now you can get some sleep because you're not worried, wondering, oh my gosh, my period is late. Am I pregnant or not? And you are not. Okay, um, but for some of you, this is um, getting over someone that was maybe promiscuous, someone that was maybe, you know, out there with potential multiple suitors, and it could be a pregnancy card, but someone might not even know who the father is or who the, or who's pregnant from who. I feel like someone's trying to cope using alcohol, which is an unhealthy way of coping mechanism. We have here secrets in reverse, so something exposed. It could be like the DNA test. Someone could have a side hustle, it be a drug dealer or something like that, or an alcoholic, or hit up the bars a lot. Um, we have here living in the moment, so someone is still living in the past over a marriage that has probably um, had its share of infidelity and addictions, possibly, that are unhealthy. Um... Could be someone on the outside of a marriage claiming to be pregnant by someone's husband. But maybe your husband already had a vasectomy. So this person is by the streets and has been sleeping around and don't know who they're pregnant from. And, and it could be not you or not your partner if your partner is sleeping around. Um, but for some of you who are still stuck in the past over what has happened. Could have been a divorce or an ending but you're finding you need to find healthier ways to cope. Some of you are going to get a job or a side hustle. Some of you could do, a, you know, use, you know, um, try to learn how to cook. You could save a lot of money. Some of you spend a lot of money on Uber Eats. Um, you can even try to work for Uber Eats as like a side hustle. Some of you want to be a bartender. Does Uber Eats deliver alcohol? Hmm. You don't want to be drunk while working, you can, you know, or drunk driving. But I feel like, um... There could be someone in a marriage that's having an affair and I feel like you can't live in the moment when you're trying to forgive someone over betrayal. So I feel like it's still thinking back on what happened when things were exposed and the burden of it all. And now it's leading you to not wanting to take a risk on anything new right now. Some of you are still fighting to get over what's going on and you have an option. Some of you can move or you can stay. You're gonna have some kind of option we're starting your reading off with. But I'm glad to see that some of you are gonna be um, getting over some or, or learning how to release some of the stress and worries of it all. Um, 
just keep in mind though, Aries, this is general. So you wanna receive what resonates and leave what does not. But here we are starting off with the two of wands. You have a decision, you have options. This is planning. This is also contemplating if the grass is really greener on the other side. So I feel like for some of you, this is an option to move, relocate a choice. Maybe some of you have a choice between two different people. Um, but if it's, you know, um, a destination, it's do you stay or do you go? For some of you, you feel a little restless about this. Some of you are feeling withdrawn from a partner if you are involved with someone, married, relationship, or involved. This is someone having a lack of contentment in a relationship. This is where you and your person may be feeling like withdrawn or detached from each other. For some of you, there could be cheating going on here. We have the spirit of Jezebel on the table. We have secrets in reverse on the table. And look at the secrets. It's like a naked woman with a blanket wrapped around her with like a finger over her lips. Like, you know, don't tell, don't tell secrets. Um, I hear the secrets that you keep when you're talking in your sleep. Yep, you might deal with someone who talks while they're sleeping. They may, you know, trip themselves up. But this is an energy where it's like, um, you could be deciding on whether you go traveling or whether you are immigrating. Um, this could also be like travel energy too. You and your partner may consider going traveling. For some of you, this is very general. So for some of you, it's just having a choice between two lovers. You're torn between staying with someone that offers you security and adventure. I know. Well, yeah, security and adventure is what you're torn in between. Like, you may have one person that offers you security. They may be a provider. But then you have another person that's more fun, more adventurous, more outgoing. And you may find one of these potential partners is steady and reliable. The other is, like, more fun, more outgoing. Um, for some of you, they could be fighting for your attention, competing. Even we have five of wands as well. Now this is conflict. This is disagreements and arguments as well. This is petty disagreements, egos, pent up aggression and irritation and frustration, sexual frustration even. This is not seeing eye to eye with someone. This is someone turning their back on you and just you know, thinking about themselves going forward. And so you, some of you feel like you have to fight for their attention too. For some of you, it could be another Aries. We have a lot of fire energy here. It could be Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Some of you, it could be a Cancer or Pisces, Scorpio, or an, another Aries. The full energy represents Aries. But for some of you, this is an energy where it's, um, someone needs to get their tempers under control. Maybe compromise will help, but this is pettiness. And it's not helping the relationship to progress. For some of you, this is like your love life is a bit chaotic at the moment. Different people trying to compete for your attention. So in, enjoy the attention, but don't string it along and don't sample everyone because someone could end up pregnant. We do have the page of cups. We have DNA. We have the pregnancy test on the table. Okay, so it's an energy where um, you may be getting an apology from someone with this page of cups. Someone may be messaging you that they're sorry. They want to apologize. This is someone who may be, you know, finding out they're pregnant. Whether it's you're finding out you're pregnant or someone thinking that they're pregnant by you or you're pregnant possibly. doesn't have to be. This could be an apology. This could be someone wanting to propose to you even. If you end up pregnant, then they may propose. For some of you, it's a need to follow your heart, but be wise. You could be dealing with a younger person or you're younger or you both are young people or this could be a child of yours that's pregnant again. This could be a grandchild or... This could be a lot. Some of you are deciding, should I sell the house? Should it be... Stay in the house, should we relocate, you know, fighting for position that will allow you to travel or return home. For some of you, it's just, um, those of you single, it's somebody that's like crushing on you. 
someone crushing on you. Could be someone from social media. Someone at a distance, possibly. Wanting your attention. Wanting to ask you out on a date. For some of you, this is, you know, um, no more losing sleep over this. I feel like when a person comes through and apologizes to you, maybe they apologize because they see you've been, like, carrying a lot of burdens on your own. You've been doing a lot. We do have here the Ten of Wands. And then, you know, we have here um, the Seven of Wands. Before I move on to more Wands, we got the Seven of Wands here. Like I said before, I like to do math. Math to me is spiritual. And if you want a relationship or a distance to go far, then you're gonna have to fight for it because there's some challenges that are gonna be coming up between you and the person you're involved with. Then apologies might not cut it. I feel like for some of you, um, there could be blame, the blame game, blaming each other for issues. It could be a relationship under attack from a third party. Maybe someone is saying they're pregnant by your partner or that you just need to protect and defend your connection. For some of you, this is just needing to maintain control because um, you can't let others ruin what you have. And I feel like you don't, that's why it's just, I don't know, it's just, you know, um, someone here could be claiming that they're pregnant, but they're lying because for some of you, this is fake news. It's not true, it's in reverse. They're, your person is not the father of this child or, you know, you're going to find out that you're just late and you're not pregnant. Maybe you think you're pregnant. Maybe someone wants to trap someone to get pregnant because it's, it will secure marriage. But someone doesn't want that type of burden because some things are going to be exposed that someone just doesn't want commitment. Secret is out that someone is not ready to have children. Someone is not ready for commitment. This person may expect for you to fight for their attention, but you really should not have to ever. You're not an option for anyone. Someone here may have serious competition for the person's affection. And they feel like you just allow yourself to sink into the background and so they overlook you. You don't want to be someone's option anyway. It's not a game. Your love life is not a game. You know, this is not um, the love show. This is an energy where um, the secret is out that this person does not want commitment. Like they may want good times and fun times and affectionate times, you know, and then things could be exciting, but it could become risky if someone accidentally gets pregnant or is not protecting themselves or using protection. It's just a warning that there could be a lot that leads to feelings of insecurity and may leave the relationship on shaky ground, okay? Because love is very fickle when it comes to commitment. Someone's very reluctant to jump all the way in. The secret is out that um, there's a new beginning coming their way, but you might not be included. Um, this person, you know, someone's living in the moment and someone's not living in the moment or someone needs to live in the moment, but someone's reluctant to because they can't move forward. Because I feel like there's fear of taking a leap of faith and a lack of hope. There's a lack of fun. And this person just is reckless and just doesn't want commitment, doesn't want a relationship. You know, it's, it's exciting, it fizzles out quickly because you find out that this person does not want anything serious. You know, it's lacking commitment. And they could be having an affair. Some of you could, you could be dealing with someone that's having an affair or Aries, you could be the one that's having the affair or wanting to have an affair or wanting to keep your affair a secret that you're talking to someone at night or when the other person's out of sight or you're dealing with someone that maybe you're telling them about the burdens that's on you. Um... This could be an emotional affair for some. With the Ten of Wands, it's like burdens, obligations, responsibilities. Some of you feel like you have a huge weight on your shoulders. You feel obligated. You feel restricted. It's like struggle energy. 
some of you feel like there's no more spontaneous fun in your life anymore because you have responsibilities, you have um, a lot of obligations. For some of you, Aries, you feel like the full weight of the relationship is on your shoulders. Like the ideas, the movements, everything is your idea. You feel like your partner takes a seat back and they, they just keep you stressed or put a lot of responsibility of the relationship on you. For some of you, the spontaneous, the energy of fun has gone out of the, the relationship, the connection, or your love life. And it's just obligation, responsibilities, bills. So some of you could be stressed and overburdened and you can't afford to take on a relationship. You can't afford to take on children. You can't, you know, if you don't have any kids, I feel like if someone tells you that they're pregnant, that would really stress you out really bad. Like, um, for some of you, you just feel like you're stressed and overburdened to the point you don't have time for dating or meeting someone new or excitement because there's so much you got going on that some of you could be preparing to move, relocate, or travel, and you don't want anyone trapping you with a baby to keep you from moving on. Um, I just feel like for some of you, you're not losing sleep anymore because you're going to find out this person is not pregnant. DNA is in reverse. Fake news. Pregnancy is in reverse. Either they disconnected with the child or lost the child or gave the child away or, or is not pregnant anymore or never was. Some of you, this person wants to get married, but you know this person is not, maybe this is not the one that you want to marry. We do see, um, I do see some of you um, are just wanting to, or you should be ready to let go of any baggage you've been carrying from past relationships or from the past in a relationship. Some of you just want things to progress. You want things, you want something deeper. You want, if you've had problems, you want to find ways to heal and solve those issues. And I just feel like for some of you, you could be finding out some things that may really surprise you about who you've been dealing with. Because for some of you, there's secrets that are gonna be exposed about someone who has been dealing with you and others. And that's one reason why they don't want to take a leap of faith. They don't want kids. They don't want to get married. They don't want um, a relationship. This is someone who doesn't want commitment. There's deception here. Could be lies, betrayal, and cheating. We have Jezebel spirit here. This person could be sleeping with other people in other people's bed or other people in their bed. They're not being honest about their feelings. They could be trying to manipulate rather than being honest. This is someone who can masquerade as a friend. They could be, you know, messing around with your partner or wanting your partner. This could be someone who is deceitful and manipulative, so be careful. You know, you may think this person is a friend, this person's a hoe. You don't want to bring that energy around your new husband or your new spouse, your boyfriend, girlfriend. You know, some of you may be finding that the person that you've been sleeping with that is deceitful, manipulative, and uh, playing games with you. Someone could be playing mind games with you, head games with you to keep you interested, but they don't want marriage. They don't want like children right now. They're not ready, but they, they like playing games with you and keeping you interested and, and keeping you in the bed. As long as they can keep hitting it, they're not gonna quit it. And they're not gonna do much more than that. I feel like for some of you, um, the Jezebel spirit is here. So I don't know if it's you or the person you're with, um, is having an affair possibly. For some of you, this could be someone through work. For some of you, this could be um, what you expected was, was true. Maybe you felt it that your person was talking to someone else or sleeping with someone else. I don't know. Maybe it's some of you are trying to let go of this energy. Because I feel like you feel and you know there's infidelity, there's deception in a relationship, and it's coming to light. Something's exposed. We have the secrets here in reverse. So something is going to trip themselves up. They know it's cheaper to keep you. That's why they're staying married, even though they feel like being married to you is a burden. They feel burdened because they're married. They feel like all the responsibilities are on them. They feel like um, 
they feel like they can't feel young again. They can't take spontaneous energies into, into having full-on affairs because they're married. You know, and um, this person could be having unprotected, affa uh, unprotected affairs if someone's, ex you know, saying they're pregnant. So secrets, someone's coming clean or they've been caught or they will be. There's going to be extreme remorse, regret, guilt, shame. But I feel like, Aries, you've had your suspicions about this person. And unfortunately, with all of these energies on the table, I feel like you're going to... Um, your suspicions about your partner, unfortunately, are real and will be confirmed. Your fears will be confirmed because um, there's something that's going to bring this to a head and you're going to be able to face it and move on. Deception. This person having an affair, sleeping around. This person could have been gaslighting you. Every time you ask him, they would turn it around and make it seem like you're so possessive. You're so controlling. Like, you know, we're not married. We're not together. We're just friends. Like, you can't go through my phone or ask me stuff. That's because this person is doing things that they feel they need to keep the secret. But I don't know how they're going to be exposed. But God's going to reveal some things for you to see. So you don't have to be this person's fool anymore. You don't have to be this person's fool anymore. You don't have to take a risk with wasting your time on them anymore. You're going to start to see the truth and the light at the end of the tunnel. And I feel like some of you are going to be able to finally start to let go of uh, this situation, this connection that may have had you obsessed, you know, addicted to this person. You could become addicted to people like they're drugs. And you can't live in the past. You can't change the past. You can only learn from it and move forward the best way you know how so you don't continue wasting any more of your time. I feel like give yourself a break and you may find yourself in the middle of a scandal. You may So make sure you're acting with integrity and that um, if you're involved with somebody, make sure that they're not married. Make sure you're not the, the, the person on the side. You're not the mistress. This could be someone that you're dealing with that drinks a lot, a lot of alcohol use and dependence. It could have started with this person having it as a coping mechanism, like ways to unwind after a hard day at work. And then they drown their sorrow in hard times. And then it's a social drink. And then just in all sorts of situations, they're always drinking. And so they can't make the best choices. So they could blame it on the alcohol. Like Jamie Foxx says in the song, this person blames their energies on the alcohol. And when people use alcohol to cope with problems, they have difficult emotions. They have they don't know how to handle stress. And alcohol just makes it worse. It's like problematic drinking that it's, it leads to problematic drinking. This person may be getting a side hustle. Or like I said, this is whoever this is that Uber eats a lot, this is that person. This is that person that may have their secrets exposed or could be just using you. Um, or if somebody just is doing a side hustle for Uber eats or Uber driving or something like that. They could tell you that they're working and they're having an affair or they're doing their side hustle and they're having an affair. They could meet this person at the bar. This is like a secret. They're, they could be paying for this. You know, the Jezebel spirit is here in many ways. This person can gaslight you. They can love bomb you. They can tell you what you want to hear. But the Jezebel spirit is one of the devil's highest ranking demons and is very wise and it has multiple functions. Once it sets up camp in a person, once it moves in on a person or a situation, it could be very destructive. It could be a very seductive spirit. A Jezebel spirit could gaslight you, could play love bomb you, they could use you sexually, and it could destroy you and completely destroy and bring down a marriage, a church, a ministry, a company, or an individual's life. It's very wicked, a spirit of Jezebel could be seducing your husband or your wife. Yep. Sometimes some of you used to stay up at night. Like really stressed out about this. Like really losing sleep at one point. 
you know, like having dreams, maybe nightmares. Maybe you started having dreams about this. You've got that gut feeling of somebody keeping secrets, right? Like you felt it. Like, like especially if this person, you were sleeping alone and you didn't know if this person was home or not or what they were doing or they were away from work or you they work at a distance. You know, um, they could have a they could have a whole affair in a different town, different area code, different city. With that two of wands starting off and the five of wands, it could be someone that they work with or someone that they know. But this is um, this could have been really overwhelming you. Like you had the energy that, or there were signs that this person was keeping secrets, infidelity, or deception, and it was taking a toll. And I feel like for some of you, you were really overwhelmed anxiety hormonal issues even for some of you and you could have been really dwelling on the past especially if this has happened before if this person's lied and cheated before and betrayed before and you forgive them and stay with them and now you're seeing the signs again deep unhappiness and wishing that you can go back in time and change the past but you can't but you can deal with it now and how you're going to deal with it in the future and find a way to heal from the past and learn from it. And once you do that, the future is going to open up before you. I feel like some of you are going to really um, have a decision to make once everything comes out in the opening. You know, and I want you to start learning to live in the moment because it's in reverse. You know, take the rose tinted glasses off about this person and see them for who they really are. And, and live in the moment. And it's people just don't know how to live in the moment, let alone some people only know how to exist and not live. And um, if you find yourself thinking about what happened yesterday, last week, last month, years ago, that is living in the past, constantly thinking about the past, worrying about the future. It can make it difficult to enjoy the good things in the now of life. So learning how to be more mindful and live in a moment can give you a, a greater appreciation for your life. It can reduce feelings of stress and depression and anxiety. So notice your surroundings. Focus on one thing at a time when you're learning how to live in the moment. Focus your attention on one thing at a time. Be productive. You know, it's productive to be multitasking all the time, but constantly juggling things can make it hard to live in the present. So doing something that requires your full attention it's overwhelming at first, but be aware of how much more productive you are when you just fully engage in one thing at a time. And be grateful for what you have and show acceptance and practice mindfulness meditation, awareness. How does your body feel? What are your thoughts? You know, mindfulness. How are you breathing? You know what I mean? How is your body feeling? How do you feel after you eat dinner? Be mindful of everything you do. How does the food smell? How does it taste? What sounds are around you while you're eating? And just practice like deep breathing and, and go to the beach, you know? Soak in the sun. Take your daily vitamins. Let your feet wiggle, wiggle your toes in the sand. Make the sand footprints and think about that scripture with the footprints next to the footprints. But living in the moment and thanking God for every day. Sometimes you have to take a break from social media and technology and just be in the now. You know, constantly checking social media accounts. It's cool. It's helpful for staying connected to the world, but it's actually having a negative effect on your ability to be present. Like how many times have you been doing something else and find yourself checking social media? So it's important to learn like how to avoid letting technology take over your life because that can really prevent you from living in the moment, being mindful of what is going on around you. Before you know it, the sun has gone down, it's dark outside and it's time for bed and to do it all over again. And the whole day has passed you by. Get outside, take a walk, breathe in the fresh air, hear how the birds are singing and how they're praising God and thanking God. And that let that be a reminder for you to do the same thing. Thank you, God, for another day. And slow down on the on the Uber Eats. You know how to cook. If not, it's time to learn. And drink more water. Definitely drink more water. I feel like some of you, um, it's all about if you feel trapped or if you feel stuck in a rut or if you feel, if you feel trapped in a situation or a frame of mind that is not making you happy, 
but <clears throat> it's all it's all a perception you know because it's living in the moment it's in reverse i feel led to say you have the power to release yourself you may have to walk away from a situation or just change your perspective of it on it but if you're unsure of what path to take you may feel that things are not turning out the way you plan them so just step outside of yourself and look at the whole situation from a different angle and then give yourself time to just relax stop trying to control things and just let them be and the correct course of action will become clear to you in time okay for sure definitely some of you may be considering going back to school um education um you know, there's so many institutions that can, um, you can apply for a grant or you could decide on what you want to do. So you could be becoming more religious or wanting to join a church or wanting to seek counsel for a mentor. So it's just different energies for you to consider. Some of you really do want a relationship. You want to have marriage in the future. You want commitment, but you just want it to be um, mutual where you have that relationship that you can work towards milestones, towards marriage that's committed. You want um, a relationship that's built on commitment, love, and security. And if you keep thinking on what you want, that is the beginning of manifesting it and sending that energy out to attract it back to you. So always have hope and always have faith, okay? And then always shift the focus back to you. Like I said, you know, further your education, get outside, be outside, get under the sun, you know, do things that are fun, try, you know, start a new hobbies, live in the moment, and don't try to be someone you're not just to gain others' approval or another person's approval of you. Don't try to break down who you're not. If you like having a shot every now and then and this person doesn't want you to drink, go ahead and have your shot anyway. You know, everything in moderation. Um, you don't have to try to be someone you're not. And, um, you're going to have a lot of people pursuing you. Some of you are going to have a lot of potential partners pursuing you. Um, but you may not necessarily be putting out to the world that who you really are. So, again, don't try to be someone you're not just to gain someone's approval. But just take the time to figure out who you are and what you want and be mindful of becoming um, a better person, overcoming in this, any insecurities, Shifting that focus back to yourself and listening to your intuition and let it guide you back to the beautiful, confident, and inspiring person you were born to be, Aries. With that being said, love, like, comment, subscribe here at Ortiz Apple Tree. And until next time, take care.